to my channel. So today I went to Woolworths and I went a, a day early. We were without power for 42 hours um, yesterday. So I had to go back and restock on everything that was in my fridge because it all went bad. So, um, excuse my out of breathness, but I've just literally just carted all this in and packed it out for you. So I spent $258. And I saved, where is it, 37. So I got quite a bit of stuff. But as I said, I had to restock the freezer and restock the fridge and stuff like that. Bit of a pain, but you know, what can you do? So I got a watermelon, some of these Roma tomatoes, the four pack of sweet corn, two kilos of potatoes, some baby spinach, about a kilo of pears there. I got one red capsicum, a ton of mushrooms, Kill of bananas, some baby cucumbers, carrots, onions, about two kilos worth of apples there, um, a button up pumpkin, grab some donuts, these were like a, I don't know why, TJ wanted them so I was like okay whatever. I grabbed this for Tom, it's Valentine's Day today so I just thought I'd grab him that just to show him I love him. Grab some wraps and two loaves of bread plus a big pack of the 12 little rolls just to have like your dinner one night or something grab some stir fry mix some steakhouse chips about 10 of these yogurts a kilo of the middle bacon a kilo of mince a kilo of chicken two dips i got the spicy capsicum and the hummus got some olive oil spread some lemon crumb chicken some chicken nuggets some of these sweet chili tenders we have them in wraps they're really good Three litre milk and a kilo of cheese. And then going over here, got some more like lunchbox LCMs, some of Sienna's food, um, some jelly, some enchilada mix, two minute noodles, these fruit sticks, got some more coffee, two packets of my chips because they're on special this week, got two litres of the LA ice and then a three litre of the breakfast juice, a 20 mix pack of chips. Some of these like wild mixes for um, lunch boxes, pretzels, two packets of biscuits, got the coffee, this is on special this week, and then I'm going to make a stir fry, I'm going to make um, like a spaghetti or something, and then TJ wanted Nutella so I got that for him, and he also picked out the up and go so I grabbed them as well, um, a pack of the Oreos, formula for Sienna, it's that time ladies if you know what I mean, I got a shampoo and conditioner, spray and wipe and then some more laundry liquid and detergent and wipes so yeah that is everything i got so now i'm gonna skip to unpacking it and i'll show you someone's requested to see a pantry tour so i'll cut to that now okay guys so this is a quick pantry and fridge tour um i've, I've got an old pantry video i'll see if i can link it but down below but pretty much everything is still the same. Um, I've got these like little can holders from Kmart, I think. Um, so I've just got all my canned goods on this side. And then I've got the same thing over here, but just with all my jars. I really like this like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like little tiered shelving for canned goods and jar goods. So yeah, so all my jars are on this side. All my cans are on this side. And then we go down here and then... I got this little unit from my mum, um, it's these stackable drawers, I think she got it from Kmart, yeah it's Kmart brand, um, she got it for my spices but my spices didn't fit, so in the top I've just got all my, um, you know, like cooking sachets, soup mixes, all that kind of stuff in this one, and then I've got all of Sienna's snacky cart foods and like her, like ones that we can grab and go when we're on the run in there. Then we come to this one, I think I got this from the reject shop and I've just got all the noodles and stuff in there. Don't mind my chips, so I've literally just like put all the shopping away. So then I've got these two containers here full of the pasta, so we got the normal spaghetti pasta and then we got the spiral pasta there. So that's where all the pasta goes and then I've just got all the bulk like lasagnas and baked goods here. Then I've got three jars, one's full of breadcrumbs. Another full of like biscuits for Sienna and then the back one's empty which I'm going to fill a bit later on. So I'm pretty sure I got them from either Kmart or 
the reject shop. I'm not 100% sure on that. But as I said, like, I'll try and leave the link to the last pantry organisation down below. So then I've got two tubs. These were from the um, reject shop. So I've got one full of just like um, snacky foods for the kids, you know, like LCM bars, fruit sticks. Um, those, uh, L uh, not LCMs, what are they called? Um, oh, I'm having a brain fart. These things. These things. The, G the cheese and thing. And then I've got all of like the chips and stuff in this one. And then I've just got all the leftovers that won't fit in the box over here for the rest of the week. Then I've got some cereal containers from, again, Kmart. And then these roll-out storage containers. These are really good. I've got my potatoes in this one and onions in this one from Kmart. So that's how my pantry looks. And now I'll give you a look at the fridge. We'll just spin you around. Don't mind my dirty kitchen. I'm about to film a video on that as well. So we bought this fridge not that long ago. I don't even think we've had it for like three months. But yeah, we bought this fridge and it's a nice big one. It's a Samsung. So I haven't really organized this very well. We've got our water thing here, all the garlic and jam, honey and maple syrup, milk and juice goes in this store. And then we've just got some condiments that wouldn't fit in the side. Got the donuts there. Um, dips and butters and stuff over this side and then it's eggs all the yogurts go in this thing and cheese and then all the kids stuff goes about here this is where we keep any leftovers or any meat that needs to be frozen or put away or anything like that that's where we store it and then the bigger fruit that doesn't fit in the drawers goes up here and then we've got our veggie drawer and then our fruit drawer and then this is the side we've just got another water thing more condiments my wine and then more condiments here and then there's nothing in this one usually if i have treats for the kids i'll put it in there so that they don't find them and i'll just show you the freezer so pull this one out we just keep all of our ice blocks and stuff like that here. We've got an ice tray, which is, I think it's, oh no, it's full. We got all of our like box food, so fish, chicken, nuggets. We got some veggies up here. And then down here, this is where we keep most of our meat and other type things like wraps and stuff like that. So I'll just take you and show you the deep freezer quickly before my battery dies. Okay, so I've got to be super, super quick because my battery is literally dying. But we've got um, milk on the side here and then I've got some of these stackable um, wire crates from Kmart. I think they're about seven bucks each and I've stored all the meat in there. And then I keep my bread here and then just some more stuff down there. So that is everything that we've got for storage wise in the house. I hope you enjoy this little fridge and pantry tour. And I'll leave a meal planned at the end of this video and I'll see you next week. Bye guys!